Hello, welcome to Heavenly Design. In today's video, I'll show you two coral draw settings you never knew existed. Trust me, this is surely going to be a time saver for you. Okay, without any further ado, let me show you how to effect this set setting. So the first of this is the undo level. Okay, so let me show you this. Uh, this is your undo. So you can see you have I have several moves I've made on this job. All right. So for those that are using lower version of Corel Draw, but trust me, if you have not upgraded, I guess you have not joined our community. Okay. The link is in the description below. So now to increase our undo and redo. So let me show you in this history I have here, you can see these are all the moves I've made. All right. So now if I want to undo, assuming uh, we are working on a bigger file, say um, a book or a flyer, you can guess how many moves we can make. So and if you want to undo, say you want to get back to the earlier version of what you have done before, it's just so easy to get back. See, I just click this is see everything is blanked out so I can easily go back to this. All right. This is my most recent move. Okay, so now to change this setting to determine how many times you can undo, how many times can you actually undo while you are doing this? How many times can you do that? So let's find out. You can see this gear setting here. Okay, if you click on it, the first option here, Corel Draw, the shortcut to get that is Control J. Okay, so this menu opens up. This menu opens up so you can see the menu we have here that is open. And here we have our undo level. Regularly for earlier versions, it's actually lower than this, is about a 60 or so, if I'm not mistaken. But for 2021, you have 150. So you can bet that in a design while you're making a flyer or you're making a brochure or you're formatting a book you can actually make more than 150 moves before you'll be done with the design so let's assume in between the work you want to get back to something okay so you can actually set this you can actually increase this figure all right you can increase this figure okay you can uh, make it to be 1000 okay which most likely you might not get to that if you click okay so you can undo for as much as you like okay without losing you can also redo to get back to that okay so the next one which is a time saver okay this is sure a time saver is the auto save the auto save so when you are saving the same place okay now the first time it's on the general tab so this time we are going to go on the save tab okay so now you can back up every 60 minutes when this is checked what that means is that whether you click ctrl s whether you click uh, save or not on your system while you're working every 60 minutes your software is going to automatically back up or save what you are doing for you trust me this is such a huge time saving. so depending on what system you're using you can choose to save every five minutes okay if you save every 60 minutes it takes longer time that's an hour before you can save if you save every five minutes that's every five five minutes is going to back up so depending on the speed of your processor you can choose between the five and 60 minutes to save your file i hope this makes a lot of sense uh, once again don't forget the shortcut is ctrl j when you hit ctrl j it turns up this coral designer and you have on the general tab you can change the number of your undo you can as well reduce the number of minutes it takes for your system to automatically back up while you're working thank you very much for watching see you in my next video bye for now